Oh my god. I am so blind. There we go. I'm not wearing my glasses today, as you guys can see. My glasses have finally died. <laughs> we have no glasses today. <laughs> I can't see anything. What's up, Zesty? Uh, what's up, Exanimous? What's up, PR? How are you guys doing? Hi, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Retsu, what's up? <laughs> I can barely read chat, you guys. My eyes. The glasses, the glasses have finally died. Elite, what's up? How are you doing? Luke, what's up? How are you guys doing? Shadow. Reg, thank you so much for being a tier three sub for 23 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you so much. Milo, insanity, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kuro, what's up? How are you doing? Insanity, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That is so sweet of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Insanity, you got stuffs going on. I totally understand. Thank you so, so, so much. Insanity, that is so kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Did I reply to the lighting? Yeah, the lighting is pretty, um, pretty interesting, right? I mean, this whole stream is just going to be pretty interesting. My eyes are just, like, freaking out on me. PR, yeah. <laughs> this is type in all capitals. Draven, how are you doing? How have you been? We've missed you. DX, how was your weekend? Um, I mean, it was good. I, I worked this weekend. I mean, I've been working nonstop. It's, it's Tuesday, and yet still, I am already over this week. I am just so over it. I got my glass of wine already. My glasses are dead, so it's gonna take a little bit for me to get my glasses. Um, Javen, I'm drinking this rosé, and it's it's really good, but uh, my hair, everything's just insane. So for me tired. not being here tonight, got like stuff going it. on. Insanity again. Thank you so much for the subs. That is so sweet of you. Have a good thank stream, you. B, and chat. Thank you, Insanity. That is so sweet of you. Thank you, thank you. Wilson, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate you. Pac, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Never read... You devoured the bell jar? I'm currently reading it. I have it right over here, actually. Alba, what's Never up? How before, are you doing? But devoured Colossus, Ariel, Beljar, and most of her journal this weekend. Mm? So before I start, a are you sticking with? Her thoughts are a reflection of your own. Yes, because that I am. you just opened. Uh, your boy, welcome to the stream. We're so happy if to have you here. Week, maybe Hive can get under you. <laughs> hue, hue, hue. Hi, thank you for the donation, Pack. Um. Uh, and B, given now that I have the insight of how probing 20 pages of questions, can I ask one? Um, let's see here. Dave, isn't cool? What's up? How are you doing? Shooter, thank you so much for being a sub for 21 months. You guys, mind you, I'm not wearing my glasses, so it, it's going to take me. It's gonna, I'm struggling a little bit when it comes to reading, just so you know. Give me one second if, uh, if I miss Since what you, you say. Since you swiped right on me on Tinder. Are you a carbon sample? <laughs> because I want to date you. That is so cute, Sassy. Thank you for the bit. Thank you, thank you. This lighting is just so When I say I odd. love you, it's not because I want you, or because I can't have you. It has nothing to do with me. I love what you are, what you do, how you try. I've seen your kindness, and your strength. I've seen the- See his nose is the house of Wallace. And Pac, I'm gonna when get back you say to what that, you said. Do you mean how she presented outside of her poetry in terms of her attitude to life, or the expression of her work? I will I will certainly get into that here in a second. Bruce, Happy, how are you how doing? Are you? Sorry I have been busy. Thank you so much for being a sub for 25 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I really, really appreciate you. I also you. have some questions. Like, dogs live forever, right? Cause I don't think <laughs> I can cope with thinking Hank might die one day. Um, for those of you guys who haven't been to the stream in a while, let me show you what I'm talking about. Huh, my chair is super tall and I'm super short, so give me a second. Okay, yeah, so I actually have two books here that I've been like referencing and talking about. Come on, focus on me, focus on me. Um, so the first one is Sylvia Plath's The Bell Jar. Um, I have not completed this. I have actually been waiting to get like the actual copy of this, um, which I just got. So I'm super, well, I've read a, a 
portion of it, but I'm kind of like rereading certain things of her work. And be sorry, been away because of work for a while. Hope things are going well. Snake, thank you so much for being a sub for seven months. I totally understand. No worries. Lashla, welcome to the stream. We're so happy to have you here. This is the unabridged journal of Sylvia Plath. I have actually read pieces of this like in the past, and this is kind of what I was referencing whenever I was like going through old quotes that like past B had um, like highlighted. And it, it's a thick boy, as you can see, thick boy. But anyways, um, have never fully completed like the bell jar. So I'm very, very excited to read this. So Pac, I think you're ahead of me a little bit on this, but whenever it comes down to like, and what Kuro said too, um, how she presented her poetry. I think specifically her poem, Daddy, if you guys have never heard that, like her actually reading the poem a lot, it is haunting. Read beautiful. that one first, Bell Jar. It gives you context for her journals and poetry. Yes, and see, I've read a lot of her biography things as well, which is quite fascinating. But you can't prove that I am that striker, Wallace. <laughs> I don't know. The way that you talk might be proof enough, Bees and Nemesis. C3, thank you so much. Uh, but yes, that is kind of the plan currently, Pack. I have been, well, I read this in bits and pieces whenever I have a little bit of downtime in between my work things that I do. And so whenever I have time, I'll read short passages from this and just a little bit before um, bed. But then secondly, I've been trying to really focus on this prior to So are these the books the we're journal. going to need to read for the final? The final of B? You want to understand B a little better? Read Plath. <laughs> you're so beautiful, B. <laughs> Two Rivers, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. That is so kind of you. Have you been D-R-I-I-N-G like that BTW? Driving? Is that what you're asking? <laughs> If I've been driving and I'm like legally like blind. Poetry. There is beauty in darkness and sadness. Also be so this poem called Daddy is banging. <laughs> it's really sad because her dad dies at a very young age, and it's very interesting to see like the way that she He'll regret kills him this. in her memory. It's so an insight into your heart and soul. Like a Bianca Rosetta Stone lol. I saw you all through it. Oh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Pla. I relate to her <laughs> so much. I love Plath so, so, so much. Don't I worry, Kuro. Too much. She drives so slow, there's no danger. That is very true. Very, very true. <laughs> Zesty. I think I'm ready to take the B final. Just let me uh, know when and where. PR, thank you so much for the bits. I really, really appreciate you. Lao, how are you doing? Uh, actually, I went to go get my oil changed recently and I had like my tires rotated. And so I actually did this like on my lunch break because I knew I was gonna be um, at work for just a crazy amount of time. So anyways, like the guy is, um, he's like, hey, come here. Like he had like this huge grill. So he had like a really hard time like enunciating certain words. And so he's like, hey, come here for a second. I need to show you something. And so I'm like, oh God, like something's wrong with my tire. Something obviously is wrong. I know nothing about cars, right? And official, what's up? How are you doing, Mike? How are you? So he's like, he's like, come here. He's like, you got some wops in your tire. And I was like, wops? I have wops in my tire? And he's like, wops. Like he has this girl, so once again, like he can't like enunciate words. And I'm like, wasps? Like the insect? The insect has made a nest within my tire? <laughs> Like, I, I am not understanding what you're saying. <laughs> he was saying rock, like rocks, like little gravel rocks. But for some reason, uh, like there were some rocks that were like stuck on, on the tread of the tire. But I, I was so confused. Um, <laughs> I was like, what madness are you possibly saying? And you know how like the first time you ask, you can ask like a few times and then, then you just have to like nod and be like, all right, that's what it is. Okay. All right. I heard you. I understand you. Um, I guess. So Air, what's up? How are you doing? I was just like not understanding. And then I also have to get like new tires. It's about time for me to get new tires anyways. But it's so, like after this whole, <laughs> after this whole lost walk rocks situation or whatever, He's there and um, 
he's like looking at this other one of my other tires and he's like you see this he's like we call this a titty and i was like what he's like you see how we're pooking out like that he's like that's what we call a titty you gotta get he that fixed you had walks in your tire and you didn't ask him to fetch a bucket and a mop <laughs> first as well like WAP like WAP I was very confused silent thank you so much for the follow I really appreciate you CPC welcome to the stream I was very confused uh, I don't even know yeah, if this is mechanic said, lingo is but into the future and what a woman is a place the arrow shoots off from but honestly a woman is what a man shoots at if I know what time me and hu 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 you've been reading some flap <laughs> Nemesis, thank you for the bit. Thank you, thank you. So if we are troublemakers in this class, do we get detention with you? I am gonna steal the teacher's calculator. Stole my pink graphing calculator. Oop, I'm making a mess with my line. You have tids in your tires? Apparently so. Apparently so. Be well, what's up? Lightbringer, what is up? How are you doing? An easy one. If they substituted the word lust for love in the popular songs, it would come nearer the truth. Tilda Plath's journal. Do you think this is still true? That lust is mistaken for love? All the time. I, I think it is mistaken all the time for actual love. Gamer, thank you so much for the follow. Eric, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate you. Saki, welcome to the stream. We're so happy to have you here. Penguin, what's up? How are you doing? Ilsi, what's what going on? I've never heard of that before, lol. Yeah, Eric. Uh, yeah, you're the mechanic. You tell me. <laughs> Chris, thank you so much for the five uh, gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I will go back into that here in a second, um, Pat. Chris, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so, so much. Smokey, are you the nurse from TikTok? I am. Well, I was on TikTok. <laughs> I've been str well, I haven't been struggling, but I, I have been killing myself with work and school. But yes, once upon a time, I was but a wee nurse on TikTok. Yes. Now, uh... Now my life is consumed by my physics degree and research. Lord, have mercy. Um, but yes, uh, Pat, for what you're saying, I think quite often um, people mistake lust for love. And I think often people get comfortable versus actually understanding the true like full concept of love. But then again too, like that's subjective. So how can I even say that my assertion on that is even valid anyways? Like who am I to say more so than anyone else that I know what love is because I can't possibly say that with any definitive answer, so it's my assumption of it. I think that people often say that they're in love because they feel comfortable or they feel that they should say these things, but in reality is that actually love, not my definition of it, but it very well could be theirs. You know? Retired from TikTok. <laughs> I mean, it seems like it, and I, I want so badly to get into it because I really enjoy doing TikToks. It is just, I am easily at work for over 60 hours a week. My weekends are also spent at work. Um, it was even like a mad dash even to like get here. And it's like I said, it's already Tuesday. I am already just over this week. And what irritates me the most is I'm a very kind person, but then also to like, do not mistake my kindness for weakness. The end of the day, you know, if I still have a job to do, and you have a job to do, so I just, I hate having to be that person. It's like, why can't you just, why can't I be kind? And then you do what you need to do when you know you need to do it. Why do I have to be harsh with you? Why? I don't want to be. But also too, uh, sometimes you just don't have, you don't have any choice, I guess. You know, Smokey, you too was in the research profession. <laughs> I love research, I have to say, it's very fulfilling, very different from what um, I have done in the past, but I love it. I thoroughly, thoroughly love it. Okay, you're bored and sunburnt. What? Did you go to the pool or something? What were you doing? You got to step on him? Yes. Yeah, it's just uh, food science research. Very interesting, very interesting. Yeah, I, I, I love research, but also too, some of the studies that we do, they're very odd studies and they happen at very odd times. So sometimes it's just, it's just, it's very hard to have a life. But then too, like I, I do a lot of my physics schoolwork and stuff like that uh, while I'm at work as well. So I mean, I can't complain. I'm happy with what I've done. 
see my hair is like stuck on my eyelashes um Red, so I'm asking you to speak for others interested in your take of things. Yeah, um, I can go into my take on my opinion of it. Jason, welcome to the stream. We're so happy to have you here. I new to the stream and you in general to play after physics degree. Well, I have my bachelor's in nursing where I did trauma. So now I'm at the end of my second bachelor's, which is in physics. And then I'm applying for my PhD. I am currently in research and the plan is to um, essentially tie I mean normally physics, when you like have rocks physics. or pebbles in your tire they fly out after driving but if the steel belt is showing change the tires ASAP it could cause a blowout um uh the quiescence thank you so much for the follow pack I will read what you said here in a second oh my eyes uh Kenobi thank you so much for the bits I really really appreciate you <laughs> juicy thank you so much for being a sub for three months I really really appreciate you Pack related to the less thing past perspective is that men are only interested in one thing, regardless of the words. Does your own experience coincide with this perspective? And if so, how does Bianca intellectually and emotionally resolve this male priority? Well, the thing with Plath particularly, I think, is like whenever you look at her like earlier readings, she kind of feels like like back in the day, you know, it's, I guess like when men are like courting women. And she had like lots of offers and she had lots of suitors but as she got older those take a 30 year old declined. clinically depressed person's advice on life love or much of anything look at an old couple married for 70 plus years and ask them what love is you'll get a much better answer i'm not saying i agree with plath on that standpoint uh yeah if anything plath's relationship from what i know of it from reading i it's very tragic, it's very sad, but uh, Cloud, how are you doing? How are you, how are you? Um, but whenever it comes down to Plath versus me, I think that Plath does say quite often that men tend to look for women on an attractive level, like a physically attractive Love is level. an insolvable equation to many variables and not enough constants, but it can possibly be the best thing we do when we try. That is true. <laughs> that is true, Nemesis. Oh, uh, Wonton, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate you. Eleanor, how are you doing? How are you? Cupie, what's up? Um, but, uh, yeah, so she tends to say that, like, men are looking for, like, a physically attractive woman, and then, like, her whole issue is that men very rarely want to actually get to know her as a person, which I can understand that struggle. I can understand what she's talking about there. And then whenever it gets into her actual marriage and then like all that type of chaos and so forth, because those of you guys who don't know, she was married. She ended up like having these children. Uh, her husband ended up having an affair and then his mistress ended up becoming pregnant. Plath ends up committing suicide um the woman who had the was pregnant attempted to, like she also attempted suicide i believe at one point and tried to have an abortion and so forth it, it just gets really dark it gets very sad and apparently the mistress was always plagued basically by like the ghost of plath um but i think whenever it comes down to that kind of stuff i don't necessarily agree that all men are only looking for women's physical attributes. I think sometimes people are looking for a deeper conversation, but I, I do think that's more rare and it's more difficult to like cultivate per se. Um, Cardiometric, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Ren, what's up? <laughs> Being the type for another B-Ray? I mean, I guess so. I'm just so exhausted. I'm just so exhausted from, um, from work. And I wanted so badly to post about like quotes and stuff. Well, that when I it comes to you, you are the flame, and we are the moths trying to feel the warmth and light. But all we do is get burned. Who says you're getting burned, though? Who says? So Who that says? said, you're clearly one of the most beautiful women in the world. Fact, not opinion. Plath was attractive as well, but worried her man would always be looking. That she wouldn't be enough. See below. Do you share? Pack. Thank you so much for the bits. Uh, first off, that is so sweet. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, Plath was attractive as well, but worried her man would always be looking. I mean, I think that's where trust kind of like comes into play because I don't agree with that type of notion. Like always having some fear that like 
your man is gonna leave you or he's gonna like find somebody else attractive. I think to have a firm foundation on a relationship, you shouldn't even have that fear. Like they should, they have to be a full and complete person capable of like, it doesn't matter what situation you're put in, I expect you to react appropriately. Um, that's just, I couldn't function in a relationship where I was constantly dreading of who he's looking at or that he's gonna leave me for some other girl who's like more attractive than me or something like that. I just, I don't think that that's any way to live. And I think that that's part of the basis of what a relationship should be. And then like likewise too, like you should be in a relationship where you would understand that it would be impossible for someone to take my attention hey girl, away from you. If I said Argentinian desserts were my favorite, <laughs> would you sit on my face so I could eat that soap American cake? Craigasm. <laughs> oh my I think God. Her husband gets a bad rap. He stood with her through depression, suicide oh attempts, and who knows what else. Who knows? Maybe he needed to protect himself and needed <laughs> comfort. Not saying it's right. <laughs> hey, Aaron, we've missed you. <laughs> like, even without the glasses, as soon as that red, I knew that was Hater. I knew it was Hater. <laughs> Um, hi, I mean, well, right. I mean, that's, that's exactly what I'm saying too. Who really knows? I mean, she could have been, it's very <sighs> exhausting to be around somebody who's constantly pessimistic. So who really knows? I mean, it could have been very difficult to be with her. I'm not saying that I'm saying one is right or Only one is wrong. Only girl I would love more than you is if we had a daughter named Vera. Nemesis, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you so much. I love that name. That's such a pretty name. Retsu, see there shouldn't be an innate fear of other looking. Also love is a building process, foundation framework, etc. Also I like Mace, we know I am Jessica Fredericks. <laughs> well, I don't know. There's many things that I can say about that Retsu, but we'll leave it at that. Um, but yeah, whenever it comes down to like Plath and her relationship and so forth, unless you're the actual one in the relationship, who's really to say? And then even still, like between the two people, you still are never going to fully see something the way that the other person does. Like even this conversation, if I was sitting across from you, like right now talking to you, I have no idea what your perception of what I'm saying is per se. I know what I'm saying and I know the intent of what I'm saying, but I have no ability to force you to understand the okay, sentiment Okay, but how do you know express. before you get hitched? Plath indicated, and her experience backed up, that men lost their interest and effort once the courting was over, mm. once you got married. Is this a concern for Bianca and Dave? They wouldn't be marrying an authentic person. They'd be buy, buying a proverbial, um, no, I mean, I wouldn't say that that would be a fear. I mean, because I think that it's at a certain point I mean I think there's always like this beginning like honeymoon phase right where you see somebody and you're like okay so they're courting you months. and what's up Asian what's up thank you so much for being a tier two sub for 18 months thank you thank you thank you so 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 much I will go into that here in a second fact slightly off topic what landscape setting would you use to describe your inner world hmm Kuro Oh, hey there. I would say like, like a moor, <laughs> like Wuthering Heights, rainy, swamp, <laughs> cold, harsh conditions. Pyro, thank you so much for being a sub for 25 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If I am sitting across from you, I am going in for the kiss. <laughs> high risk, high reward. The smack across the face is worth it. Oh. Nemesis, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank True you. True love is the conscious decision every single day to wake up and want to be better because and for someone else. Partially, Living through yes. pain and mistakes, fighting the dragons together to build your castle to live out in. Yes. Partially, yes. For the majority of that statement, I would agree with it. Is that the end-all be-all of the situation and is that there's quite often a multitude of factors in addition to that. Kevin, how are you? How are you? How are you? Neil, thank you so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate you. Hater, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you. Tony, thank you so much for the follow. Zesty, thank you so much for the bits. 
if it's raining like crazy today. Um, pack, back to what you were saying. Um, if you like rain, just head this way. It's been raining like crazy today. Uh, I think at the beginning, it's like there's always like that portion that is more like lust than love, right? Like somebody's attractive, they're courting you, like things are new and they're exciting. But then as time goes on, you have to have like a firm foundation of like genuine love and that's what carries you through. Um, I don't think it would be something to where it's like somebody would just lose interest uh, in me. Like, okay, so like now I'm your girlfriend or something and then now it's just, I just don't matter anymore. Or if I got married and then they're like, okay, well now you don't marry anymore. I'm like matter anymore. I'm just gonna go off and do other things. I mean, I feel like that's not a worry of mine. I can understand how people would be fearful of it, but I feel like whenever you make that decision, you should have a pretty good understanding of that person. Now, do things always work out the way that you plan? Of course not. Could crazy things happen? Of course. Um, but at the end of the day, um, I think that you have to have like a, a major level of like friendship and like you have a confidant in that person, like more so than anyone else. Like they have to understand you on a different level and that's what would progressively genuine love so what's through. genuine love to bianca you punted on that question lol spartan thank you so much for the follow i really really appreciate you thank you thank you genuine love so what's genuine love i mean i think it's genuine understanding in my opinion like for someone to actually take the time to actually understand you and put put your emotions first in a way I'm not gonna say like, don't destroy yourself. Like don't love someone so much that it destroys you if they are not doing something that is, like two people have to be secure adult individuals. But that being said too, like the other person's feelings and emotions. So do you think the initial attraction has to be lust? Or do you believe that love can be formed before they have finished the first chapter? Um, I mean, I think it typically begins with lust. Um, but it, it, I mean, love can happen immediately at the same time too it can it can also be both factors i don't think one has to necessarily happen before the other but for genuine love ej what's up how are you long time no see in the stream how have you been um but i i think often it's like people have a selfish look at things and they think in a way that they're understanding the other individual but sometimes i think it's almost impossible has to a retired hero who came into this human world that has walked many paths there's this one incredible super fan who brings nothing but bright smiles and light to everyone's world but also faces her own battles all right thank you so much for the bits thank you thank you lust thank is you. about a physical or sexual attraction whereas love might encompass lust but it's more emotional and is about actually caring for the other person. Yes. It's crazy to meet people just put them so far apart from each other like Diff University. Hi, thank you for the donation. You're a mark of a true hero, but sometimes a hero can do so much. We'll always be devoted to you as we strike the darkness with our fists, even for... You're so sweet. La oh, petite French. fille dance ton cur et ton aim qui ses toujours senti soul et pa aime dance son propre monde. Prince ta main dance la notre lore que nous supportons un sourire sur ton visage et ta- <laughs> I would have to actually go through and read that. I think the, <laughs> the text to whatever kind of throwing me off a little bit. Oh my, thank you so much for the bits, DX. Thank you for the bits, Pat. Thank so you for related the bits. on the love lust. You've stated previously that an Edgar is your ideal love versus a Heathcliff. Yes. Buddy, Beljar, Richard, IRL, is an Edgar, but he was too milquetoast for Sylvia. DX, I didn't read yours. Let me see what you said. Uh, Buttercup, if you could do things all over, would you? I don't think you would. Look at the person you become, strong-willed and overcame obstacles put in front of you. I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change For all anything. you out there, I am sorry that they misled you to believe that their love was destined to be, ruining what you've been waiting on from the hands of destiny. Nemesis, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, sweet lover. What's up? How Buttercup, are you doing? If you could do things all over, would you? Now I don't think you would look at the person you became strong-willed and overcame obstacles put in front of you. It it's made the person who you were right? destined to become. You are indeed one of a kind beyond. It is playing out of order, right? 
or am I reading things out of order? I don't think I am. Huh. Curious. Ricky, what's up? How are you doing? Um, but DX, no, like I said, I, I would not redo things over. It, it made me the person that I am. I have a different perspective on things because of the things that I've gone through. Um, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade that for anything. How would you Painful, describe love in your own it. words? Um, pack, uh, an Edgar versus a Heathcliff. Yeah, I don't think what Edgar had was true love in my definition of it, at least. I think he was extremely obsessive and controlling but I don't think that that was love. When I was younger, I would have said that he loved Catherine more. However, the older I've gotten, I feel like I realize that that is an obsession and not what love is, as I've gotten uh, older. Star, thank you so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How would I describe love in your own words? It's a good question, girl. I am still trying to figure that out. <laughs> I'm also not the best person uh, to ask about that because I don't even know how I would necessarily define it. You know, there are some things that I feel like are kind of like beyond description in a way. I'd have to like actually sit down and think about it because the things that come to mind, I would also negate what I'm saying based on later statements or later thought processes within like the same sentence. So I don't really know. I don't really know, but I think the most important thing is understanding. Like above all, understanding that person and the way their mind thinks. That That's a very hard thing to find. Cause like people can take you at face value and people can take like what you say or the things that you do. And it's like whenever you go on to these like basic like activities of daily living but are they capable of actually like seeing the whole picture there instead of just these basic blaring lights you know frozen what's up no glasses contacts go on no well my glasses are gonna be gone like eventually whenever i get new glasses they're gonna be different let me uh sit back in my chair a little more this chair is so tall i'm kind of like worried i'm just gonna like <laughs> fall right out of it um, Tip, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate you. Instrument, thank you so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, you know, it's like my eyes are just... I've been struggling, you guys. And then it's like, you know, whenever you wear glasses that are not the right prescription for you, like it just, it makes things like even worse. You start getting headaches and stuff. So I don't know. I kind of struggling here, but hey, we're gonna do what we gotta do. For you to understand their music, you'll see more of their personality. That is true. I'm not a huge person into music personally, but things don't always need definitions to cause definitions are extremely limiting, misleading, disappointing or incapable of conveying true feeling. Love is love. Define it with your actions and convey it to who That's a portion of it, yes. That is a portion of it. I think that's a very good statement. Define it with your actions and convey it. It's not always an easy thing to do now, is it? Plath worried about sacrificing career and dreams for a relationship. Do you think that they're mutually exclusive? You mentioned last week something similar. Sacrificing career and dreams for a relationship? I mean, in a way, yes. I think she talked often about having children and how terrified she was about like sacrificing things to be able to have children. I mean, I think that that is a fear of mine as well because I don't have children and I think often it would be very difficult for me to achieve my goals and the things that like I plan for myself um because then too it's like if you're if you get into a relationship and they're like oh well, I want children or I want like two kids or I want three kids or something like that I mean that would certainly it would be hard it's like I do want children someday but then it's like when is the right time right I don't know, I don't know if you're ever ready. But then some people, I guess, are. Like, some people are like, this is my plan. Like, by the time I'm this age, I want to have, like, these kids. And, like, I want to be a homemaker. And that's what I want to do. And that's beautiful. But it, I just, I feel like it would be difficult. I feel like it would be so difficult for me to be like, all right, time to have a family. Fairless, how are you doing? How's your day been? <laughs> Mima. 
<laughs> you don't have children, why are you mommy? <laughs> I have a cat. I do have a cat. Uh, DX, do you remember to eat something, I hope? Uh, I had like three cookies today. <laughs> I had three cookies today. And some wine, but I'm gonna be cooking actually pretty soon. And that's another thing too, is that my streams have gotten a little shorter because I'm trying to make more of an effort to like cook and to like meal prep. <laughs> and sometimes I like do better with it than like other times. And so today, I need to cook dinner and I need to meal prep so I have something to bring to work tomorrow. Cause three little little cookies isn't gonna cut it. And I even feel bad when I eat like that. I'm like, I know that I have like no nutrition. Fish, thank you so much for the follow. Duro, thank you so much for the follow. Freak, thank you so much for being a sub for seven months. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oi. Zesty, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. So. You're surviving on communion today? <laughs> surviving on the Eucharist. <laughs> Moscow, thank you for the bits. Thank you, Meal thank prep you. prep streams when? I love by the idea of me. So here is the harsh truth. I am in love with the idea of you, but I don't know who you truly are. Hmm. Am I willing to get know and understand all of you? Absolutely. Hmm. I want to know dark parts though even more. That's a struggle for everybody though, right? Do Your time is limited and finite. You? Could you do something like having a nanny? That's not traditional. I mean, I feel like at some point I wouldn't have a choice, Pat. I guess it would depend on, like if I had children, I guess it would depend on his career or something, depending on what career, uh, like requirements would be like required, you know? Cause like for me, like working in a lab and stuff, I wouldn't be able to bring a kid to work. so. I guess it would depend. Um, so it's not traditional, but I could also see myself having like no choice but to do that. Um, Nemesis. I mean, I feel like that's a struggle, right? Because people always say that they want to know you, but do they actually? Do they actually want to know you? Do they actually want to know the dark parts and stuff that go on in your mind? And then, I mean, sometimes people are extremely optimistic and a lot of times they just have like these tiny little dark recesses in their mind. And then other people they have a lot more cobwebs, you know? A lot more cobwebs. <sighs> Brett Sue, it's for working from home. We'll be, <laughs> yeah. Pierre, you can work, you'll stay home with the kids and the nanny. <laughs> Duke, you taking house husband applications? Yeah, I'll provide. I've never considered care it the before, kids. but I could be a stay at home dad. Zesty. <laughs> Yeah, see, I mean, that would be perfectly okay with me. That would be just fine with me. You know? But it is what it is. I would gladly be a stay-at-home daddy for you. Have a glass of riscata rose for you when you get home and leave you be to go off into a dark corner of the house to be alone <laughs> until you summoned me in for spankings and stepping on me. <laughs> I would come home and then just at some point just decide to just attack you. <laughs> Take out all my work aches on you. When I was 19, you. I fell deeply in love with a magnificent girl. She was smart and beautiful, career driven, but she would say, I was put on this earth to be a mother. Overall, she wanted to be a mother. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of women who are like that. There are certainly a lot of women who are like that. Don't you find meeting people as like a finding a book? Something leads you to pick the book up. Sometimes you don't know why, but with every turn of the page you become more and more intrigued, and in some cases find you can't put it down. I wish that happened to me. Like that, Kuro. One, it is extremely difficult to find a good book, or a book that can captivate me. But secondly, it's very interesting. I like to see people. I like to see kind of what, how their mind functions and kind of like figure out why they say the things that they say, why they have a certain word choices that they do to try to piece them together, to understand where they're coming from better. Some people are very fascinating that way. And some people are very surprising. And then others can also be very, the same, the way they are at face value. 
you know? They're interesting books, they're deeper books, and they're like quicker, easier read books that don't really have a deeper meaning to them. But yes, it's always curious. And saying, where have I been? Where have you been? I've been here <laughs> just a little bit. Well, you know, I've been I've been working and then also trying to stream as much as I can. So, you know, I did Vimo. I did say some people would be basic. <laughs> I was trying to find a nice way to say some people are just very, I don't want to say shallow, but like they are there's not much underneath the surface, which is perfectly fine. There's nothing yes, wrong with that. Yes, don't do something half-assed if you are courting someone, learn about them and accept them for who they are. You might have been drawn to them for their looks, but it's who they are that I desire to know. Right. Right. I mean, I think that's the most interesting thing too. You may have an idea of that person, but actually getting to understand like yeah, the word choices they use, why they use that word choice, like the why between things. I find that very curious. Very curious, you guys. I didn't even finish my glass of wine and it's basically like towards the end of my stream. What is up with that? DX, is it hard to get back to your workouts? Yeah, I haven't been able, I haven't done like any workouts. I, uh, I've been trying. I went on a run yesterday. It almost killed me. It was terrible. I was miserable. <laughs> it sucked. Bear, thank you so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but on that note, I do need to get to cooking dinner because I only have like three, like they're like little strawberry cookies. They're like sugar cookies that have like a strawberry icing on them. I'm exhausted, I'm sleep deprived, I'm overworked, um, I'm struggling here. But as always, you guys always make my day. You guys are by far the highlight of my week. I was looking forward to stream um, for you guys like all day today. You guys helped me so, so, so much. You guys mean everything to me. And especially for those of you guys who have like taken time to like read Plath and to like understand the way that her mind works, which is basically like I a want to know as much about you as possible, works. but I have this one question that takes priority over the others. Are you okay with a third every now and then? I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Do we need to start a GoFundMe <laughs> to get you a personal chef so you'll actually eat? Zesty. I just need to get my schedule in order more. I know I keep saying that, but I am just so bad whenever it comes down to like actually, you know, <laughs> making a schedule and like planning for things. But I'm trying, I'm trying my best. I'm trying, I'm trying. But the big thing is too, is uh, I don't want to wither away into nothing. So I really do, as much as I enjoy and love streaming for you guys, I do have to, um, I do need to cook and I do need to actually make a dinner and I need to be present in my cooking and I need to enjoy my cooking and focus on it as a healthy part of my day. So, um, Wallace, Wallace is gonna visit and drop off Korean Ugh, food that lasts forever. Korean is literally the best. Literally the best. Hive, I finally set your raid alert set up. Hint, hint. Oh, are you streaming right now, Hive? I don't see you streaming. I'm also partially blind. Fando, I didn't know you were here. You just started? Okay, we can raid Hive. Um, but, Yaksha, what's up? How are you doing? I love you guys. So, so, so much, like more than Buttercup, words you are truly say. the heart and soul of the community. You are amazing with little time to chill with us. Not fall Make off a lot this of chair. food, Bianca, and have leftovers. Uh, let me put this. Oh, God, it's so bright. And my, my eyes are so light. Uh, they're just super um, <sighs> sensitive. DX, thank you so, so, so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Once again, I've said this many times, but Hive has been, um, he recently started streaming, so we've been supporting him here in this channel. So, oh my God, I'm gonna have a Charlie horse in my leg. I can feel it, it's coming, my leg. <laughs> my leg is like locking up on me. Um, but 
Uh, the stream will be at the same time for the rest of the week. Tuesday, uh, wait, today's Tuesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, 7 p.m. CST. It'll be about 45 minutes. Um, I'm probably going to go into more plath. Who knows? It may just be a rant. Who really knows? I don't know. But I, I was raging today with work. And you guys have helped me feel so, so, so much better. So, I know, right? Let me hop off of this chair. Because I'm going to I'm gonna fall off of it. Look at how short I look. Okay, uh, let's see here. My chair is like in my way. I feel like I look like, <laughs> I feel like I just look so small. Uh, I know. <laughs> I'm super short and my, my chair is like super high. It's like a normal chair too, but I'm just super short. Uh, okay, so. Uh, I think that's how I did it. Okay, so we're gonna start the raid. I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so, so, so much for spending time with me. You guys mean everything to me. Thank you so much for brightening my day. You guys are everything. And I will see you guys um, tomorrow, 7 p.m. CST. We'll talk more about this stuff a little more. I love you guys so much. And we'll start the raid. Get that done. Over with. All the raids. <laughs>